Hi YouTube, I'm I'm back. It's been a minute, and but I'm I'm happy to be back doing this again. I feel pretty different than when I was making these videos a few months ago. Some changes happened in my life. My channel might be a little bit different going forward, but uh, it'll still be like primarily craft based, you know, show and tell, clothing, wearable stuff. Well, it is um, February. <laughs> it's February 24th right now. I have a bunch of projects that I've worked on over the past three months that I didn't record or anything for my YouTube channel. So I'm just gonna show you what I've made over the past couple months. Let's see. Okay, so the last thing I did on YouTube was I'm, I made that, I like, <laughs> I can't talk. I like um, shortened that skirt. After that, I made um, a little lamb balaclava, which has <laughs> since been unraveled and made into something else. I did this uh, test knit vest, which I have right here. This, this was a test knit that I did for NYC Knits. It was a lot of fun. You can get the pattern from her Ravelry site now. I'll put links uh, for all the patterns that are available in the description. What did I do after that? Okay, after that, I made the Wool in the Gang, Wool in the Gang can cardigan, which is over on my couch, which is right here. The sleeve is inside out because I was gonna take the sleeves off and knit them again, but. Here she, here it is. <laughs> it is, um, it's in mohair and it's lace and I added smiley face buttons. I, I think it's really cute, it came out really nice, but I've noticed that the wool in the gang patterns have really high and tight sleeves, which I don't like. I like a nice open <laughs> drop shoulder. So I'm gonna take the sleeves off and I'm gonna think, so I made this in the size small I think I'm gonna make some like size medium sleeves since I have about a full ball of no hair left. It's gonna look exactly the same, but it'll be more comfortable. <laughs> okay, after that I made... Oh, I've also been like drawing a lot lately, so there's been doing that. Not that anyone cares. Okay, after that I made this, this white sweater. <laughs> and I made it with size 50 needles. And it was like super beautiful and drapey and it, I put staghorn cables on the back and I made it in like a day because the, the, the navels, <laughs> the needles are so big you can make it look quick. Yeah, so I'll put a picture of it so you guys can see. It was like, it, I used like um, two different color balls from Loopy Mango because I couldn't find the right colors. So I used white and also cream so you can kind of tell the difference in the photos. And then I thought it would be fun to try to dye the sweater and I ruined it. And I don't have any pictures of that. I haven't even looked at it since that day because I'm ashamed of myself for ruining that sweater. But whatever, it's dead now. The next thing I made was is this Loopy Mango sweater. I unraveled that lamb balaclava and then i ha i also unraveled another sweater that i made i'll put a picture right here i unraveled those two things and then i had some extra yarn and i made this so this is the my favorite sweater pattern from loopy mango i made the neck kind of big it kind of grew it kind of grew a lot like after i knitted it so it's it's really open and it kind of falls back and I haven't weaved any of my ends because, you know, I just, I just didn't want to. I will one day, maybe. And that, I really like that pattern. It was pretty fast. I like obsessively knitted it in like two days because I got it in my head that I wanted to wear it to this, this thing I was going to. You can knit that in like two days if you, if you do it for most of the two days. And then I made, a oh fuck, I forget what this sweater is called. Let me see. Shura? I made the Shura sweater for K2 together on Instagram. She's super cool. I have it right here. So this this is the sweater. I added some little pops of color. That one was really fun to make. It was pretty fast too. That one was faster than the Loopy Mango one, although I procrastinated and didn't finish it until the day it was due. Um, I'm gonna try not to do that anymore because it's really stressful. That one was fun. She like made some videos and stuff about that and that was really fun to do and be a part of. I think that's all that I made. 
I made my mom a okay, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter. But I'm back now. I'm back, YouTube. And I went to this awesome store, Scrap, the other day. I thought it was just a Bay Area thing, but apparently it's not. I know at least they have one in, in Portland. Um, and I got a bunch of stuff. I'll put the picture of what I got. I got a bunch of stuff for like 20 bucks. I can just show you quickly what I got. Some fabric. Some more fabric. Got a bunch of these little, um, they're all in plastic. So I guess that's how they price them, but these little white balls and then I got these and then I got some cones because I've been working on my friend's knitting machine lately I got this beautiful cone this cone this which is actually thread but it'll work this cone this one is pretty just like some beautiful trash balls <laughs> purple this one's pretty cool alright and that's it that's all I got from Scrap. Those are all the sweaters that I made in the past couple months. Um, my mental health is like way better than it was during my last video and I was literally like turning the camera on and off to cry. I think, yeah, I think I'm just gonna do some like, the next couple videos might be like pretty chill and just like doing things. So um, let me know if, if you prefer the more structured ones. I feel like even my structured videos weren't that structured, but if you prefer like a DIY. I'm just gonna be making some things. Um, I don't really have anything I'm making right now. I just got approved, or I got approved. I, got, I just got um, an email from Vicky Knits. So I'm gonna be doing a test knit from her for her and that'll be done at the end of March. And then I'm working on some personal projects, which I'll record some process of. And I've also been buying hella stuff online. It's not good. It's not good. But most of it's secondhand, so I'll show you guys what I bought. Oh, I also wanted to say thank you so much to everyone. I think like 20 people subscribed to my channel within the last three months, which is super encouraging since I wasn't posting at all. So thank you so much. And yeah, you can also find me on Instagram. I'm a little bit more active on Instagram. I'm hoping to be more active on YouTube too. Okay. <laughs>